Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Well, this last week has really been a challenging week of upgrades and take it from me as a tech content provider. Many times you perform upgrades or modifications to your systems so that you can develop content. However, in the process, it's really easy to shoot yourself in the foot. So I create these videos with the idea that I can help you avoid these pitfalls. So anyway, I have entitled this week's uh, presentation, Incas and Ubuntu 2404. In my last tutorial entitled, Warning, Ubuntu 2404 Hates Incas, I showed how to upgrade your Incas server operating system from Ubuntu 2204 to Ubuntu 2404. And I encountered problems whereby data was missing from the slash var slash lib slash docker VFS area of Incas containers with nested docker following the upgrade. So this required all of my containers with nested docker applications to execute a docker compose pull for these missing container segments. So for nested Docker applications that build their containers instead of pulling them, this required a Docker build operation. Not all nested Docker applications recovered gracefully despite these steps. So what exactly changed? Well, ZFS 2.2 was released as a part of Ubuntu 2404. And because of the change in the Ubuntu 2404 kernel, changes occurred in what is supported at the VFS file system level. Docker by default uses the VFS file system with its overlay 2 data type. And the issue with container data structures vanishing was caused by changes in the way that ID map shifting was occurring. I do not believe that new Incas containers with nested Docker will have any issues, and my tests show that to be true. So what did I do? Well, Incas containers that did not have nested Docker containers were working just fine after the upgrade of Ubuntu to 2404 on the Incas server OS. And again, we're not talking about the container for the application, we're talking about the host operating system on which the Incas server is running. So on Incas containers with nested Docker after the Ubuntu 2404 upgrade, I performed Docker Compose up-d and I noticed that containers were being pulled because local copies were gone. And containers that required Docker build had to be rebuilt, and that might be significant because I would have to refer back to my installation notes for the given container to determine if any important steps had to be taken before the Docker build. So Docker persistent data volumes were intact. That is that any mapped volumes, their data was just fine. It was only the VFS volume data where container segments are stored. So previous Incas export or backups were rendered useless because of the ID mapping or ID shifting that occurs on import coming from an older export. So therefore I had to perform all my backups over again. And in fact, this morning I just finished the last of my 60 containers. So after the Inca server was upgraded to 2404, like I said, I performed new exports on all of my containers, and you'll want to do that as well. With help from Stefan Graber, the chief maintainer of Incas, he came up with one possible solution that I'm going to present here. So to avoid this ID map shifting during the upgrade of your Incas host, from Ubuntu 2204, which I presented in Incas container step-by-step, step, 
Assuming you want to do the upgrade to Ubuntu 2404, you can follow the following steps prior to the upgrade. So you can create an Incas storage volume. So I have some videos which describe how to use uh, storage volumes in Incas and the command Inca storage volume create in the default pool and I'm creating a volume called docker dash cont one as in docker for container one and I'm setting the size equal to 20 gigabytes. Now for those of you that have large docker applications you're very aware of the fact that that storage area uh, that the VFS storage space uses based on my fixed Docker issues video uh, can actually get rather large. So 20 gigabytes is just a suggestion. You might want to size that volume a little larger. Just keep in mind that's going to come out of the space in your default storage pool. Next, we want to do an Incas config device add and then we're going to say our name of our container is container1 and we're going to call this thing arbitrarily docker we can call it anything we want and the pool is going to be the default pool and the source is going to be docker dash container one because docker dash cont one is the name of the storage volume we just created in the previous command and i'm going to give it right now a path of forward slash mnt forward slash Docker. And then after that, I'm going to do an Incas exec on container dash one, where I do a system CTL stop Docker. Because before any of this, we want to make sure that the Docker daemon is down. And then I'm going to do a Docker or an Incas exec container one, and I'm going to do a shell command and the command that I'm going to execute is a move the slash var slash lib slash docker and everything in it over to that mount point of slash mnt slash docker. And then I'm going to stop container one. And then after that, I'm going to do an incas config set container one and I'm going to change the definition of that virtual volume docker and I'm just going to change the path that it points to inside of that volume we created to slash var slash lib slash docker which is what it was in the original container that had a nested docker application inside of it. And then I'm going to start the container back up. So this moves all of the Docker data from the container root file system to a dedicated volume in the default storage pool. And that won't be affected when the Incas container is updated from Ubuntu 2204 to Ubuntu 2404. So in summary, this is particular to updating the Incas server operating system from 2204 to 2310 or from 2310 to Ubuntu 2404. And this only affects Incas containers that happen to have nested Docker applications. And the OS variant of the container doesn't matter since the problem comes from the shared kernel on the Incas server. The apps that were a challenge for me to migrate in particular were Rocket Chat, Authentic, Discourse, and Echo Speaks. And the reason for that is because if their container components are missing and the container comes up, it's in the habit of trying to rebuild some things that are inside of the persistent volumes and that can cause some problems. And that's why the workaround might be preferable to trying to go back and fix it the way that I did. So if you can pull or build your containers, you should be fine. Otherwise, consider following my guide here 
to move the slash var slash lib slash docker data to a volume outside the container before you upgrade. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.